Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman, and I'm the Technical Director at Pure Storage for VMware Solutions. I'm here with... Yeah, my name is Anthony Ferrario. I'm Product Manager for VMware Solutions at Pure Storage. So we're here to talk about the vSphere Web Client plugin. Uh, before we get into the plugin itself, what is the vSphere Web Client? Right, let's start with that. Yeah, so basically the vSphere Web Client, if you're not familiar, is the way that you control your VMware environment primarily. So you can access it, you know, you can control multiple different servers from there, and basically all your virtualization controls live in one place. Yeah, it's your management plane for your vCenter for ESX, right? If I want to create a VM, create a virtual network, move a VM, whatever, that's what most customers use to manage your VMware environment, myself right. included, many times, right? So, um, why do you need a, a plugin, right? Like, let's start with that. Like, what's what's missing from the vSphere web client? Well, so VMware does a really good job of providing, you know, that core management functionality you were describing. But when you start to, you know, include different sets of hardware from different vendors, or if you have, you know, a more complex environment, you might need some additional controls and some additional capabilities that don't ship with the base uh, with the base vSphere client. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's, all, there's, you know, you have your, you have your network, you have your physical network, right? You have your storage, you have your backup, right? And there's additional value adds that they can introduce into the VMware environment, and of course, Pure is included in that. So, uh, Pure offers a vSphere web client plugin that allows you to manage the array inside of vCenter. So, what are the types of things that you might do with our vSphere plugin? Yeah, so I mean, it, there's, a, there's a bunch of different things you can do, but you know, really it covers all the different workflows you need to worry about uh, in terms of basic pure storage management in a VMware environment. You can register arrays, you can create data stores, you can do some uh, automated configuration for iSCSI, for example. Uh, there's a wide variety of different things. And I mean, one of the sometimes traditional problems around VMware environments and storage was the complexity of the storage, right? You could have a plugin to manage it and provision it, but there's still a lot of things to do. And, and of course, from a pure perspective, right, one of our main use cases were simple, right? That's why people love us. So uh, that kind of that value kind of bubbles up into the VMware plugin as well, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think you know we'll see it when we get to the demo, but there's oftentimes just one or two clicks in order to take care of entire workflows, uh, provisioning. You know, all of this stuff is very simple. Uh, both on the pure GUI as, as well as in the uh, web client plugin that we that we support. So why don't we take a look at a demo of using the vSphere web client plugin, kind of what our plugin offers and some of the features inside of it. Sounds good. So what we're looking at here is the vSphere web client and our plugins installed. You can see the pure storage icon. And we also have a flash array, and this is a brand new flash array. There's no hosts on it, there's no volumes, there's no snapshots, right? It's a brand new array that's just been assigned an IP and is ready to use. So the first thing we want to do in our plugin is we want to authenticate that flash array, right? We want to be able to manage that flash array from within vSphere. And so we can authenticate this flash array or many other flash arrays we want to. But we'll add this first one in and I'll give it a username and password so we can start making calls to it. And, and what the plugin uses is the REST API service running inside of the array. So there's nothing you need to set up in between the plugin and the flash array to get this to work. And so we'll go in our hosts and clusters view. And the first thing we want to do is we need to tell the array, hey, these are the initiators that you need to see, right? And this, this particular uh, array uses iSCSI. And so we need to configure iSCSI on the array and on the host. The Flash Array plugin automates this. It creates the initiators on ESX if they don't exist. It then takes those initiators and creates those objects on the Flash Array as well, and then authenticates and adds the iSCSI targets into vSphere for you. So this is all automated with a couple of clicks. It'll set up iSCSI on the host, and then it'll create the host group. And now we're ready to provision, right? Very simple, there's nothing you need to do. The whole cluster is now configured and ready to start running workloads against it. So now that we have access to the array from these hosts and the array is authenticated essentially through iSCSI, we can now create and connect volumes on the array if we want to, but let's just use the vSphere plugin to do it. So we can right click on a cluster, choose VMFS for instance, give it a data store name and give it a size choose the array I want to provision from, and create the data store, right? When you create a volume on the flash array, there's two questions, right? What should I call it, and how big should it be? That's it, right? So the simplicity is not being hidden here, it's shown, right? We're not abstracting anything. The data store is created and provisioned, and you can see it's presented to the VMware environment, right? Very, very easy, right? The flash array is easy to use, and now with the plugin, all these workflows are brought into, into vCenter. So why might a 
customer want to use this, right? It might seem obvious, but you know, in your opinion. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, one of the main reasons you might want to use this is you know, instead of having multiple different panes where you have to go to manage your environment, if you can consolidate all of that into one place and take care of it inside of the web client, you know, that can actually significantly reduce the overhead of setting everything up and, and, and controlling it. Yeah, exactly, and also uh, it allows the VMware administrator to provision their own storage and manage the storage, right? They can snapshot their own data stores and only their own data stores. They can delete only their own data stores. They can resize only their own data stores. And so if the array's been used for something else, they own, the VMware administrator only sees and manages their own storage. But the plugin allows you to kind of go a little bit more grander than that, too. Yeah, so you know, what you're describing is a really nice you know, case where you can control everything. But we do understand that you know, not always you know, do you want everybody to have access to everything. So we actually also support role-based access control in these environments so that you know, while providing this you know, unified control experience, you can actually make sure the right people have access to the right objects. There's no risk being added to your environment through this. Exactly, like this user is allowed to create data stores on this array in this cluster. This user can only create snapshots, right? You can narrow that down as you see fit and what makes sense to your organization. Yeah, I mean, I think really overall, the idea is we're adding the simplicity, we're combining your control, but we're allowing you to still own your environment. Exactly. And it's a free plugin, right? There's no management you need to configure in between it, right? It just uses, like I said before, the innate REST API service. There's no management appliance in between. You just push it to vCenter, authenticate however many arrays, and you're ready to go. Fairly simple. Yep. So if you want more information about the vSphere Web Client plugin, uh, certainly check out the links provided with this video, or go to purestorage.com for more info. Thanks, Anthony. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Cody.